Hello, I'm Dr. Dave Degatti, cardiologist at St. Francis Hospital and Catholic Health. Thank you for joining us for today's episode of Catholic Health Stronger Together with Dr. Dave. Today, we are going to discuss the nationally renowned St. Francis Heart Center. Catholic Health St. Francis Hospital and Heart Center has consistently earned recognition as being among the very best in the nation for cardiology and heart surgery. Now that same care is available across Long Island as St. Francis Heart Center. Wherever you live on Long Island, you'll have access to the highest quality and most advanced cardiac diagnostics, treatments, and therapeutic interventions, all driven by Catholic Health's signature, compassion and excellence. At St. Francis Heart Center, we believe every heart is at the heart of our island. And now, our unrivaled cardiac care and patient experience are available at more Catholic Health hospitals and practices across Long Island. So wherever you are, your heart is always in the right place at St. Francis Heart Center. Under the leadership of Catholic Health's Chairman of Cardiovascular Services, Dr. Richard Schlafmitz, St. Francis Heart Center's nationally recognized services have expanded to most other Catholic Health hospitals. To learn more, here's Dr. Schlafmitz. St. Francis Hospital historically has been the place to go if you have a heart problem. We're a leader worldwide in many, many different areas. We could deliver that care throughout Long Island in Nassau and Suffolk County. And we're setting up programs throughout our system to bring St. Francis Hospital the expertise and the care that we give at St. Francis to other locations in the Long Island area. Thank you, Dr. Schlafmitz. We need to take a break, but coming up, did you know that your aorta is the main artery that delivers oxygen and nutrient-rich blood from your heart to the rest of your body? What would happen if that critical artery failed? Find out when we return. Deserve to disconnect. Take back your drive. Visit distracteddriving.nsc.org. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Welcome back to Catholic Health Stronger Together with Dr. Dave. The St. Francis Heart Center at Good Samaritan Hospital has been serving Suffolk residents since 2014. Its cardiothoracic intensive care unit an immediate care unit earned the Beacon Award for Excellence from the American Association of Critical Care Nurses. Let's take a look. Hello, I would like to welcome you to the Cardiothoracic Intensive Care Unit and Intermediate Care Unit, home of the St. Francis Open Heart Surgery Program at Good Samaritan Hospital. Our ICU consists of 10 private state-of-the-art critical care rooms and there are 16 semi-private and private rooms in our intermediate care unit. They are cared for by a team of specialists that only care for patients with cardiac conditions and that same team cares for you the entire hospitalization. 
Our nurses received advanced training with over 90% of our RN staff trained at the ICU level. In addition, all of our professional staff have received training in cardiac surgical unit advanced life support, making us a center of excellence. Our team strives for each of our patients to have the best outcome possible. Our readmission and mortality rates are lower than expected by the New York State Department of Health. When you are ready to leave the hospital, we are still here for you. Each of our patients receive a bracelet with our unit telephone number on it. We ask that you wear this for 30 days after leaving the hospital. If you or your family have any questions, you call that phone number and our staff is available to you for assistance. Before the break, I told you about the importance of your aorta. But what would happen if your aorta tore? An aortic dissection is a life-threatening condition that can cause sudden death if it is not recognized and quickly treated. About 40% of patients die immediately from a complete rupture and bleeding out from the aorta. In fact, the risk of dying can be as high as 1% to 3% per hour until the patient gets treatment. Let's hear from our patient who suffered from an aortic rupture, but thanks to the St. Francis Heart Center team at Good Samaritan Hospital, lived to tell the tale. All, all my life, I'm the other guy. You needed help, I'm there to help you. I think they took him for a CAT scan. I think that's when they found some very irregular issues and, and then everything just exploded. It felt like nothing and it felt like miles all at the same time. They said your, his aorta dissected and then on the way from the emergency room up to surgery, it burst. Dennis's aorta actually was a contained rupture. We're not sure if he's gonna make it the next couple hours, you know, and then later on, I'm not sure if he's going to make it through the night. Those were some tough words, very tough, you know. Dennis gave him like a plaque. It becomes emotional. It could bring tears to my eyes, you know. Yeah, it's so. very emotional. Very. Welcome back. You went <laughs> great. Wow, that was an amazing story. Here at Catholic Health, we have the latest technology to screen you and your family to understand your risk of heart disease. In another example of how we can help you detect, combat, and treat heart disease, St. Francis Heart Center at St. Catherine of Siena Hospital evaluates and treats chest pain. Patients presenting with chest pain at St. Catherine's Emergency Department immediately receive an EKG. Using state-of-the-art technology, cardiologists evaluate the patient's condition and determine the next step. Should catheterization be required, precision angioplasty is performed on-site at the same high level of excellence St. Francis Heart Center is known for. Upon discharge, the patient will be seen as an outpatient within 24 hours. Take a look. In our emergency department at St. Catherine, we see typically around 24,000 patients per year. So we do see a lot of patients that come in with cardiac uh, issues and problems. And so we always knew that we should develop some type of a cardiac chest pain area. When we had that opportunity, we, we jumped on that. If you're a patient that's experiencing acute chest pain, you come into our emergency department, the idea is that you'll be seen and triaged by our triage nurses be brought into a room, our chest pain area room, where we will be uh, doing a STAT EKG. Uh, we would like to perform that within just a few minutes to help us identify if you have one of the most serious types of heart attacks known as an ST elevation heart attack or MI. Those patients need acute life-saving care and will be brought to the cath lab to try to open up those blood vessels. If you don't have that type of heart attack, then what we'll do is we'll put you through a process to get you uh, diagnosed as to what your chest pain could be because even though it may not be a life-threatening emergency it could still be early heart disease that needs to be taken care of right away. We want to make sure that our patients get the highest quality of care at all times and bringing St. Francis here will help us do that. We're looking to bring this care all over Long Island. We have it at Good Sam which has an incredible program. We're bringing it to St. Catharines. We just opened up the Mercy Cath Lab with the same staff at St. Francis doing angiograms and nurses and doctors with the exact same equipment and technology built in is being done at Mercy Hospital. So we're looking to bring it across our whole system to make everything you need as a patient available to you quickly, accurately, and safely. Cardiologists have a saying, once a cardiac event occurs, time is heart muscle. 
Having St. Francis Heart Center's top cardiovascular services at multiple locations across Long Island ensures outstanding treatment can be administered when and where it's needed, improving outcomes and saving lives. Wherever its services are accessed, St. Francis Heart Center physicians, nurses, and outstanding support staff are trained in the same high-tech procedures that have made St. Francis a national leader in cardiology. This approach delivers consistency of care, ensuring patients and their families have access to the same exceptional level of care when and where they need it. St. Francis Heart Center at Mercy Hospital has been providing minimally invasive coronary interventions on Nassau South Shore since 2019. Led by a team of world-renowned interventional cardiologists from St. Francis Hospital, the center at Mercy gives local residents access to life-saving procedures such as percutaneous coronary intervention or PCI. The St. Francis Heart Center at Mercy Hospital also enhances the existing diagnostic catheterization program, offering immediate cardiac care to patients who present with a heart attack or other significant cardiac issues. Let's take a look. When you have a problem with the heart, taking care of that heart right away is of utmost importance. Now at Mercy Hospital, the exact catheterization laboratories that we have at St. Francis, and I can tell you that's exact because I built them there, but it's not equipment that just fixes a patient. It's the staff. And what we've always been proud of St. Francis is that we have an incredible staff of physicians, but also the nurses, the techs, and everybody at St. Francis. It's a family. We're bringing the technology and the expertise, the know-how, the knowledge, and the great nursing care that you expect at St. Francis. You're going to get at Mercy Hospital. The staffing at Mercy Hospital is going to be a hybrid effort. And what I mean by that is there are 20 interventional cardiologists at St. Francis Hospital. Those 20 interventional cardiologists are going to be available on an on-call basis 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so that if there's an emergency in the middle of the night, the same doctor who would do your procedure at St. Francis is going to be available at Mercy. We've been training the Mercy staff working at St. Francis with our staff hand-in-hand -hand for months, bringing them up to par. But we're not leaving it just as that. Our staff is going to be rotating as well, so there'll be a hybrid staff. So we can guarantee that same quality care, both from physician and the ancillary staff. We have an incredible heart failure program where people have weakened heart muscles. And we have a great team. We have an incredible left ventricular assist device team um, led by Dr. Lundy and Dr. Shah, one of the heart failure doctors. Well, they look at patients throughout our system. And if we can offer specialized care at St. Francis, which is not available at the other hospitals, we can then assist them. The same with complex procedures, whether they're angioplasties or open heart surgery. So if you're a patient at Mercy and you have your emergent procedure, but something more complex is required where you need an operating room, possibly in backup, or a complex calcified ablation of an artery, if you're part of our system, we can get you to St. Francis and you'll have immediate access by ambulance to get over as soon as possible when needed. The message that the board at CHS wanted to get across is they're very proud of the job that St. Francis has done over the years. The best care you can get in the world and the safest, as in St. Francis, we're now offering at Mercy. Catholic Health St. Francis Heart Center will be expanding with the addition of interventional services at St. Joseph Hospital in Bethpage. Additionally, the St. Francis Heart Center at St. Joseph's team will evaluate and treat those who present with acute chest pain. Patients will be seen quickly by a physician and receive an EKG. The individual's condition will be evaluated by using the heart scoring method, which is history, electrocardiogram, age, risk factors, and levels of troponin, ensuring customized, efficient, and effective treatment. The St. Francis Heart Center at St. Joseph will bring the quality of St. Francis Hospital closer to home for a number of residents who will have quick and easy access to exceptional cardiac care that will save lives. I think it's exciting to be able to extend the care um, of the St. Francis brand now to St. Joseph with opening the cath lab here. 
As you're well aware, I think that on Long Island, um, the care we provide at San Francis is really second to none. And to now being able to provide a similar type of care in the community will make a big difference um, for the, the locals. This is a huge upgrade for St. Joseph's. It's finally something we can treat the local community with acute heart attacks. And this particular area we're in is very busy for cardiac um, events. If there is an opportunity to provide a similar type of care as, as can be expected from a San Francis brand, um, more locally, easier to reach and also for families easier you know, to be with, with their loved ones, I think will make a big difference um, for the community. There's an old expression, time is muscle. And the more time it takes to get the heart attack at the artery open, more muscle damage is done. So hopefully treating it on the site will be able to open that artery quicker save more muscle and improve outcomes in quality of life. So the amount of expertise coming locally to San Jose is, is really tremendous. And I think that's really key to have a successful program to make sure that in fact everybody is cross-trained and could be placed tomorrow in San Francis or at San Jose or any of the other locations we have that the level of, of um, care and the level of training is basically identical. So opening up a program like this here he, this will only just improve the care, uh, cardiac care uh, in this part of Nassau County. If higher level of care is necessary, then we are equipped obviously to transport or transfer patient over to San Francis where the higher level of care can be provided. And so all of that is seamless, um, I think, to patients. And again, behind the scenes, there's a team working together to ensure that highest level of care and quality. We have to take a short break, but when we come back, we will hear how cardiac screening saved one man's life. Stay tuned. Food, it nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables and cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy, and refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit homefoodsafety.org. Are you ready to open your heart and home for 18 months to a puppy like Esther? To find out more about becoming a canine companion for Independence Puppy Raiser, visit cci.org or call 1-800-572-BARK. You can make a world of difference in the life of a person with a disability. Discover immunotherapy and find out how your body's natural immune system can become your greatest hope in the fight against cancer. Speak with your doctor and visit su2c.org slash immunotherapy to learn more. Welcome back to Catholic Health Stronger Together with Dr. Dave. Joining us in our studio today is Jim Killen, a St. Francis Heart Center patient. Jim is strongly committed to staying fit. He has an exercise regimen that includes walking more than 20 miles weekly along the South Shore beaches on Long Island, eating healthy meals, and visiting Catholic health doctors for his annual checkups. Welcome, Jim. Thank you. Thanks for having me today. It's our pleasure, and thank you for joining us. Sure. You have an amazing story, and uh, we brought you onto the show today because your story is incredibly important, and it really is a story of success, of how with the proper technology and the right doctors, we were able to screen and make sure that you are aware of your heart disease or your heart mm -hmm. condition. So let's back up a little bit. Sure. Tell me what, what was going on just before you went for the CAT scan in terms of your thought process. Well, uh, my wife and I uh, both had a, a series of uh, cardiac um, testing the year before. And then, on, uh, and then um, a year later, uh, one of our neighbors suddenly passed away. And we thought to ourselves, boy, you know, uh, you know it's, it was so sad that he was a fit gentleman and he just had a major heart attack in his, in his, in his driveway. And I happened to be there when that happened. And um, so my wife and I said, you know, maybe we need to go back again. And I, and well, I should say my wife said, but I was more like, you know, we're okay. But then uh, she, my wife, uh, Adrian, who kept on pushing me, said, you know, we need to go back and insisted. So we went back to our doctor and he said, well, let's maybe do this calcium score test. And I said, sure, you know, whatever, whatever it takes. 
and it was a simple test and the results came back where uh, luckily my wife was in fine shape but I was a different story and even though we have been married 43 years and we eat about the same and we always have a fit mindset and we've always been active and, and we take care of ourselves but the genetics I guess played a major part in I had to go to uh, St. Francis Emergency the next morning, which just floored me because I didn't. I had zero symptoms. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. So, hold on. Let's back up a little bit. So, so you know, you have this tragic event with your neighbor, and um, you decide, look, we need to get checked, which sure. would make a lot of sense. Yes. Were you checked before that? Did you have heart testing before that? Um, yeah, I, I, I've gone to the doctors before. I've gone to the cardiologist for various stress tests, but not not this much, uh, this intricate, I'll say. This, this was new to me. So you pass your stress test, you pass your typical testing, yeah. and you go to the cardiologist and they take it to the next level and they order what's called a, a CT coronary angiogram. Right. And um, how was your experience with that? Is it an involved test or what, what? how would you describe it to the people watching? First of all, let me say, you need to get yourself there. You need to commit to getting it done. Even, if, uh, even at your annual physical, you need to do that um, because you don't know. But uh, no, it was very easy. I, we, I went to a radiologist and they, um, they injected me with some dye, I guess. And 15 minutes, I was done with the test and I got the call the next day. It was very, very simple. So, so you go to St. Francis Emergency Room yes. because they tell you you have significant blockages in your heart. Yes. So at St. Francis, uh, what happens next? From the time I got to St. Francis early in that morning, I could just let me, uh, a side note is that the people I met and took care of me from the security guard to when I was wheeled out was just unbelievable. The, every, the caring and the, and, the, and the warmth was really, was something I'll never forget. Mm. Um, but I was, I was in and they, they took an echocardiogram of me right away and then they wheeled me off and then I went up to uh, get ready for, for the test. Uh, I met Dr. Schlafmitz there at, uh, at that and he says, don't worry, I'll take good care of you. And he, and, he, and he said, I'll, I'll probably give you a stent because we see one major blockage. So they knew they, they were dealing with se severe disease. And so you went for the cardiac catheterization, which really yes. is the definitive mm -hmm. test in cardiology. So Dr. Schoffmans goes in and he takes some pictures. And then what happens next? Well, he said to me before I went in, he said, uh, I'll probably give you a stent and you wake up and you know, we'll talk later. When he went in to see better pictures, he found that the major blockage was much more blocked than they thought, and then he found three other blockages as well, all to the tune of 95% and three others in the 90%. And again, I looked at him as I did with Dr. Ashold. I was like, I think you got the wrong guy because I have zero symptoms. In fact, uh, the day before we went for the test, my wife and I were in Fire Island, and we did 12 miles that day walking and five miles was on the soft sand and we felt great, you know, it was like nothing. Just so it, I was, I'm still in the, even as I sit here now, I'm right. still in disbelief. Yeah, it's amazing. So, so they were able to um, really treat you with a fairly minimally invasive approach with a cardiac catheterization in sense. And it amazes me because if this was 10, 15 years ago, you may have had open heart surgery True. with all of its potential complications. Yep. So it's really a testament. Your story to me is a testament of excellent screening and excellent care. Yeah. You know, and, it, and it's from the be beginning more. to the end, the entire circle was closed and you, and you look fantastic and you're feeling fantastic. Yeah. And I think more important is that you know that even though you're feeling great, we can't take that for granted. Lack of symptoms, mm -hmm. and I always tell my patients in my practice, lack of symptoms do not equal lack of disease. I, I can tell you this firsthand, that's for sure, because people now are saying to me after they found out, well, how do you feel now? And my, my response to them is, I feel the same. So that goes back to I had zero symptoms. I mean, never once was a shortness of breath, never a pain, I'm telling you, zero. And like you said, you don't know until you get in there. Yeah, I think what bothers me in general is that unfortunately, it takes a tragic event for somebody like you to say, hey, we need to get screened, yeah. right? Yeah. So, you know, usually we've heard of famous people like Jan James Gandolfini, mm -hmm. et cetera, dying suddenly from heart disease, and then everybody becomes panicked and they get screened. But why are we waiting for the tragedies, right? So the message today we really want to get out to people is don't wait, you know, and if your doctor doesn't bring it up, you bring it up to your doctor. You know, we have to be our own advocate. I think that's the best part of your story okay. is that you, really your wife, was advocating for your health. Sure. So, you know, and it may have saved your life. 
I, I can tell you that uh, Dr. Schlafman said to me, he goes, it was just a matter of time before I had a major heart attack. And uh, as, as I got out of this and I feel extremely blessed and grateful and very lucky, I'm happy to tell anybody. I don't care if they, they say, oh, yeah, I heard this already before. And I'm, I have very close friends that we spoke about this last week. And I sent them uh, information about the test, I, uh, various things. And I said, do it today. Do it now. And, and I kept on telling them and telling them, and just do it. And uh, anybody I meet, just don't take no for an answer. Go to your doctors and say, hey, I heard about this guy or my friend, whoever I am to them, and say, this is what happened to him. I want the same thing because you don't know. And yeah. I've met other people since then who actually, the one gentleman I, I did tell right after I had mine and I found out that it inspired him to go and he actually went to Dr. Schlafmitz as well and they found the major blockage in him less than two weeks after I had mine. And he called me back to thank me and said, thank God you told me about this because here I am. Yeah, unfortunately I'm sad to say as a uh, practicing cardiologist, your story is not you know, particularly surprising, unique. It is to the general public, mm. but cardiologists such as myself and Dr. Schlafman, who see so many patients every year, unfortunately, this is part of the course. You know, this sure. is the average almost. Yeah. And, you know, what I also like about your story is not only have you helped yourself and also, re you know, let's talk about your wife for a second. You know, her score was good, yeah. right? So that also gives her a lot of reassurance that whatever she is doing, is working sure. and you know it also cuts down on maybe unnecessary testing in the future if she has a zero score or a good True. score absolutely yeah you know the last thing i want to talk about is how great it is that not only do we learn from you and the public learns from you but your kids learn from you so now you're you you told me that you spoke with your your children and that they're going to get screened at the appropriate time but mm -hmm. this is going to be forever this is going to be your legacy throughout your generations that you know, grandpa, great grandpa had heart disease at this age and forever, you yeah. know, future generations can get screened appropriately. Sure. I, 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 my son was over my house yesterday. I just told him again yesterday, reminded him, just go get screened, get it done. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to add? Get it done. Go today. Get screened and don't say no. Just get it done. Thank you, Jim. At every St. Francis Heart Center location, cardiologists practice the same treatment protocols using the same state-of-the-art technologies and protocols that have made St. Francis Hospital and Heart Center an unparalleled leader for cardiovascular services. For more health information, tune into Catholic Health Stronger Together with Dr. Dave. If you would like to know more about St. Francis Heart Center services or to make a gift in support of this or any other program that is important to you or your family, please visit chsli.org or call one 855-CHS-4500. Thank you for watching today. I am Dr. Dave Degatti, and I hope to see you next time on Catholic Health Stronger Together with Dr. Dave. Mm -hmm.